Right, about four videos back I showed you um, a load of land and a load of woods and some really nice stuff that I could go metal detecting on. And I couldn't get on any of the fields because it was all in crop. Well, I just had a call off the farmer and he's cutting it off right now. So um, it's going to be a party time soon. Um, I can't go on it at the minute because, well, the, the farmer basically says um, it's completely off grounds until the combine harvesters have gone. And in his words, basically, you don't want to mess with 20 tons of instant death, <laughs> which, to be honest, after seeing these, I totally agree with him. But we can take this little fella over for a spin, can't we? So um, let's go for a fly. <laughs> acres so I've got enough land here to last me a blooming lifetime so this is day one and I don't know where to go I'm pretty much heading straight for the woods where I've had some nice finds before so I've had some things there so it makes sense to go back there don't it really so um, see what's in that lovely field eh right see you soon let's get detecting yeah something here oh, I know what that is <laughs> that is um, a pigeon's um, identity tag makes sense actually because I've already seen a few um, dead pigeons on here already See that it's nice or right. oh, I don't know whether you, my phone's been really awkward. See I can't see it. It's got a nice shape to it. I think that is a medieval horse harness. bit
right there. I know what that is straight away. That is Roman. And that get a really iffy signal on all that did. Beautiful. That is a Roman fibula brooch. A fibula, fibula brooch, I think it's called. Oh boy, that is Roman. Look at that beauty. Wow. How awesome is that? Fantastic. Well, I've got a signal in here, the mid 70s. So it's um, a decent sort of signal. Nothing good, I'm afraid. It's another um, deceased racing pigeon. I'm afraid. Oops. I'm going to have to remember to keep my phone a little bit further away than usual. That's that anyway. We have a strong 86 in this one. Somewhere on the side. God, it's an aluminium button. That might have been something from the war times or something being aluminium like that. In fact, I say it's aluminium, it might be silver actually. I don't know, get off a whacking signal anyway, that one did. But it's no better than that. I was hoping it was going to be a hammered. I want a hammered, I really, really want to get a hammered. But um, there you go anyway. I know people can dig for years and years before they find a hammered. So I'm not getting my fingers crossed that much, but one day I'll get one. But, yeah, what's that anyway? I've got a feeling that's silver. Just for the signal to go down, it's really, really high. But um, we'll see anyway. Oh no, look at this poor bugger. He must have got caught, caught with the um, combine harvesters. Big old snake. What sort you were? Looks like a grass snake or another. Oh dear. A solid 75 on this one. It's there, it's right in the plant. Oof. It is a moo tube. Like an old animal medicine thing. Keep remembering about these because they'll give off about the same reading. You've got to dig them because it's a good signal. So, um, that's that anyway. A moo tube, I call them. In fact, I put them in my pocket because I'll only find it again when this is all ploughed, won't I? So, yeah, nice. <laughs> Not. Right, just had this signal and it was iron. And obviously, iron is usually rubbish, you don't bother with it. So, but something was telling me to just dig this one. And I can't believe this. You can see a bit of a point there. Can you see it? Well, you, you can you can see it coming out now, man. A little bit. When I turned it over with my shovel, it's like a huge bit of gear. I think it's a gear anyway. I don't want it. Is it's definitely not broken. Why well, is an absolute tom? I like that straight away. I think.
think that is solid in there. Whoa. What a weird looking thing. Right, it is day two. Uh, I'm on about 70 acres of pasture this time. Same permission and everything. It's just I hurt in my arm. It's swinging all the time with um, all that stubble. And I don't know how I'm going to do today because every time I swing in my detector, I can feel my arm like popping out a joint up here. So I kept overdone it a little bit yesterday. And I'm sunburnt. It's really, really bad sunburn. But see how we do anyway. Totally different ground here. It's ever so weird. This one's like wet and really stony, where the other one was bone dry, and it's literally only a couple of fields away. So um, it's just really weird. But we'll see how we do anyway. We're going first signal. Just down there. Can you see that? I think it's a coin. Very deep down there. That way. Ooh, I'm rubbing the coin, I'm rubbing the coin. My coin, I can do what I like with it. <laughs> uh, usual thing, my stupid phone will not record on it. Uh, I can't see the date on it, won't you? I'll probably be getting told off again, huh? I don't care. 1902. Not super, super old, but still a nice coin. Safe from the ground. So we'll carry on detecting for now. Hopefully we'll get something older. Because usually it's pasture land. I seem to do well on this sort of stuff. So um, let's see how we do anyway. A lovely little silver here. Look at that baby. That's lovely guys. Right, let's see if I can pull him out. Leaving the print on the back because that's one way you can guarantee that you're not faking it and planting it. So, there you go. Look at that, you can just make it out where it's been for the past hundred years. Let's have a look at them anyway. Beautiful. Lovely. Whew. So I've got flies buzzing around my face. Beautiful coin. Just have this. You can see where it's come from. I think. I think that's a Roman coin. I know more when I clean it up. I think that's a Roman. Oh, you stupid bird. Go on, get up then. <laughs> I think he's playing dead. Come here. Come on. Just gonna leave him there. I think he's playing dead. Just move away. Well, I think he's gonna leg it as soon as I move away. So the signal here, that's it. That's a weird little shape, guys. Let's have a look what it is. I think it's 
actually a button. Bit of a shame, yeah. I thought that was going to be a Roman coin. There's something right here, can you see it? Now it's looking a bit too round for me for something really, really old. We'll have a look anyway. Saying that, I don't know now. Don't know on that one, I'm afraid. I can't tell you. I'm going to have a give it a bit of a clean up. I'll go back to you, Mom. But just see how round it is. I don't think it's that old. Got something in here. It's about mid 80s again. Quite a nice. Oh, there it is. That's a spindle wheel. Tiny one. I found one of these once before, but it was much bigger. But um, yeah, nice little find, nice. Got another one here, 55 and jumping about a bit. Now I know the last Roman brooch, I don't think it was about that, and it kept jumping about. Right, it's there. Ah, uh, it's a shotgun cartridge. Bloody hell. Getting loads of these and all. Ooh. <coughs> right, still out. Gonna get a dog. <laughs> I've been out all day. I'm <laughs> starving. I had no, no tea or anything. I had my dinner about 11 o'clock this morning. But um, I'm not really finding much on these fields. Um, I don't know why. I mean, I'm not complaining because I don't want to come across like ungrateful because I know there's people out there who can't get fields at all. And I've got tons of them here. But I'm just very lucky with that. But there doesn't seem to be much in it. And when I say that, hardly anything. I've had like one Roman like fibler brooch thing. And that's it really. Just. Yeah, I don't know, they're just so quiet. I'm used to um, some of the fields are gone where my detector's going berserk all the time. And um, there's just nothing in this really at all. But um, I think I'm going on them ones. Uh, can you see it? that one there and that one there next? Right over there. And then I've got another one there. I've got another one right over there near the woods. I've got that green pasture land there. And I've got some more on that side, but it's over the brow, brow of the hill, you can't really see those. But yeah, at this rate, I'm gonna be spending all my days about. And really I need to um, get back on the computer and do a little bit of research and try and narrow down my search field a little bit because at this rate, I'm going to be spending all my time walking about and not really finding anything. So I think a little bit of research is in, in order now. But a lovely day now and the sun's going to be setting in all soon. So um, yeah, we'll keep going for now. In fact, I'll probably keep going until it gets to about 10 o'clock tonight because I'm loving this. It's just, I can't think of a more relaxing thing to do. I say, I'm just in the middle of nowhere. Miles and miles of fields, not a person inside, and it's lovely, it's really is. But um, I'll keep you texted for now anyway, and we'll see if anything else turns up. Right, just realised I'm going wrong here again already, aren't I? Um, this is a treasure hunting video, so obviously I've got to find treasure, haven't I? So, um, this will do, kindly donated by my boy, Thanos' glove. As you can see, it's got gold on it, it's got lovely diamonds and crystals and everything, so, um, That'll do nice with that one. Well, so, um, what do you usually do on this? Oh yeah, you have the, the stupid shocked look, don't you? Like it's like, like that. Or you get the, the standard um, 
gob open stupid expression thing. So uh, I think we do that one, right? Eh? I'll do lovely. Right. Now what do we need for it? Oh, we need some sparkles, don't we? Because everybody loves sparkles. So we'll put some of those on it. We'll put arrows and things like that. And um, yeah, it's lovely. I just nice description there because obviously you need a description and usually the more ridiculous it is the better you do so we'll stick that on and there we go beautiful right and this is how ridiculous it is now by putting a photo on like that all that matters is to get that click that view the rest of it just doesn't matter it seems to be now the most important thing on youtube is a ridiculous fake cover photo the rest of it nobody cares so um yeah if i put a video well it's a video a photo like that on the front of my video i will probably get about five times more views than what i've ever had before and it's that is just how stupid youtube has got now but um enough of that anyway let's get back to checking this field out because there's something going on in that place so let's have a look at that i'm just trying to um narrow down my search field a little bit because I've got that much fields to go on and I'm not finding much so I'm trying to look on the maps now if there's anything giving any signs away of anything like that and it's very hard because I can't show you what I'm actually looking at without giving my location away but on all those fields there's two bits that stand out one is this here which there's something going on there, definitely. And it's the same on the next field along, which is literally just around the hedge. There's something here. Now, on certain images, it doesn't even show up. But on just certain years on Google Maps, there's obviously been droughts and things, and it's showing up there. Now, I've enhanced it a little bit and drawn over it, just so you can see it a little bit more. Can you see it better now? Right, yeah, this needs checking out these do. So um, let's let's get on these now instead. strong 86 in this one bloody hell I don't know that's how I'm gonna what no it's not <laughs> it's a, I think it's a button <laughs> no way I really thought that was a hammer then it's not, it's the back of like, bloody hell, it's like a rivet. <laughs> Gotta admit though, just that bit there really looked like a hammered coin. 
Oh hell. I will get one one day. <laughs> Maybe not today. And it looks quite nice. You see that? Wow, that is a beautiful, beautiful buckle. I'm guessing that's medieval straight away. That's lovely. And as you can tell, the wind's calmed down and all now. So you can actually hear what I'm saying. Unless it changes again all of a sudden, but that's that's a lot nicer. I've never seen a buckle like that one before either. That's really nice. Right, hopefully some more nice things will come out like that. If things come out like that all day, I'll be an happy, di happy digger today. Or metal detectorist, or whatever you want to call me. So, uh, yeah, nice. Very nice. Nice, strong 80 in this one. This might be something good. Oh no, it's not. It's another bloody tube. These seem to give off every signal you can think of, these uh, damn things do. Oh well, I'll put it in a bag so I don't find it again next time. Let's look in this one. It's about mid 60s, a bit of a iffy signal. There. Could be a coin. That sort of shape. Well, it's not. Hmm, don't know on that one. I think it's just like a Victorian, like, drawer handle, if you know what I mean. Something like that. I don't think it's super, super old. No more when I clean it up. Might be something completely different than how I am with stuff anyway, because I'm, I'm no expert with this stuff yet. So, yeah, don't know on that one. I'm saying Victorian, so I'll probably be completely wrong with that, <laughs> but uh, we'll see. Let's have another signal. Um, I forgot to film this one, I sort of like just pulled it out, I forgot I was actually filming. You can see it there. Uh, another racing pigeon leg tag. And this one's even more gross and horrible. <laughs> it's got the actual <laughs> bones still on it, which won't come out. Um, I'm finding that many of these, I might actually make a collection up of these. Ex um, racing pigeon tags. But I'm not surprised with the amount of sparrowhawks around here too though, because they're everywhere. I keep, I've been trying to film them for ages, but as soon as you you stop, they kind of notice you, they've just got that eye, they're just a little dot. But uh, yeah, <laughs> complete with a leg bone. Got something here, mid 90s, coming out as. Now, I don't know on that one. I thought it was a ring, but it's not. I don't know whether it's old or new or what. I'm guessing that's chrome plating. Nah, that's the chrome plating, is it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that's modern stuff. Ouch, yes, it's um, a bit sharp and all. That's some sort of handle or something. In fact, yeah, it looks like it's a catch, isn't it? Oh, well, thought that was going to be a ring or something then. Got something in here, might be good. Mid 70s it's coming out at, so it's quite a good signal. I can't find anything in it. Oh, there we go. I've got something then. So, I know what that is straight away. Another bloody tube. Getting hundreds of these damn things. Can't even find where it is now, you know, there, look. Something in here. This is coming out a good 80s, very, very strong, too. Right, it's there. See it? 
where is it? It's hard for me to look there. Alright, and let me just swap my camera around. Right there. think anyway. Stupid thing's not going to focus. It is, I can see it. Oh, I've dropped it. Let me just swap this. A proper look. Definitely a Roman coin. Definitely. Beauty. First Roman coin. Oh, I can really see it now. The sun's just come out for me too. Let me just wet my finger. There he is, or she. I think it's a she. Fantastic. Not much detail in it. Well, I don't know actually. It's odd because I'm looking through a camera obviously. Definitely see the queen on it or whatever you call it. Beautiful. First Roman coin. Fantastic. Right, we have another signal, and I think it's Roman again, and it's literally, there's this signal, and there's the other one. So it's almost side by side. I think that's a brooch. This can be two brooches now. It is, definitely. It's bigger than all. There we go. I'm focus again. It's even got a bit of gilding on it there, look. Fantastic. That one's got a little bit missing there when the other one was pretty much intact. That is much bigger than the other one. That's a beauty. Can't believe that Roman. Something was definitely going on in these fields. Fantastic. I mean, like, it's, I love things like this because who wore this? What life did they live and everything else before they lost this thousands of years ago? Amazing. That's three Roman things, as far as I know, anyway, what I've had, which, as far as I can identify, anyway. Beautiful. Right, we have another signal. And it's literally almost where the other holes were. Right? Uh, one hole at the back there, and the other one was there. And now we're here. Really, really close to each other. It's coming out mid 70s again. And everyone in the brooches have been about that 70s. They're jumping about everywhere. And it's there. Definitely there. I think that's a coin again. I can't drop it again. Dodgy hand. It's not, it's another brooch. Unbelievable. Definitely a Roman field. Right, three.
three fines almost at the side of each other. I'm going to go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down this little area here now. Let's see if I can find anything else because there's something going on here. Amazing. Another Roman find. Oh, the silver coins, that's one. Another Roman silver coin. Beautiful. I've just spent about one hour forty now going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And there's nothing. It's really weird. It was just that little tiny patch there. So I don't know why they're all concentrated in that little area. The only way thing I can think of is um, a couple of Romans had a bit of a scrap. <laughs> oh, something else, you don't know, you don't know. But um, it's just weird how I've had a coin and two brooches in a little area about the size of a car and then nothing it's a bloody weird weird hobby this is detecting it really is it probably is you know, sometimes just if you think about things too much you can lose it but um yeah very very strange three little roman finds all concentrated together and nothing so um i don't know carry on detecting it eh? It is, I think that is a hammered coin. Unless it's a washer. Let's see if I can turn him over. Please be hammered, please be hammered. I'm just trying to make sure this focus is right for this. It is, it's a hammered. Oh, no way. Yes. Come on! First hammered! It's a bit beat up. I don't care. My first hammered coin. You can just make out, I think that's, I guess it's Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, there she is, look. Brilliant. Absolutely banging. My God, they're so thin. I knew they were thin, but I didn't know they was that thin, if you know what I mean. Medieval coin, silver tin, and absolutely wafer thin. In fact, it's that thin it won't even focus on it now. It must be about 0.2 mil thick. Incredible. That's made my day, that is. I don't know if you can hear this or what, but my um, pro point is making a rat racket. It's really hard sometimes trying to find where it is. I'm just breaking the force. This bit because you don't know what it's going to be. You can't see no sign of anything. Now, really, I could just pass it over my coil and keep dividing it up, or just use my pinpointer. But I like doing it like this. It's um, it's like a surprise. You don't. <laughs> it's a bit of silver paper. A minute, my heart skipped a beat. Then I thought that was going to be another. 
It's not, it's another Mutu. I get bloody hundreds of these things. Oh well, can't complain. Ski detector. Well, I've got another signal here and um, halfway through lifting the the soil over, can you see it? Right there. So I think that's a big button. Have a look at that there. Now is it going to have anything nice on it? That's the thing. Definitely a button. Now again, I love these because that's got quite a nice, what do you call it? Or something like that, what do you call it? I don't know, you know what I mean. That's a really nice colour on that one. So, is it going to have something nice on it? Hmm, don't know. Can't see anything. Just get a bit clean. I don't know, I think it would have been just like um, a silver plate on it or something. Yeah. Thought I was going to be something better than that. It's just um, it's a detective firm, I suppose. Well, no need to dig this one, I can see it. It's literally on the surface. I think it's another hammered. Well, it's not. It's a milled one. It is. If I can grab it. That's... It's very worn. Not so I'm doing the usual thing. I'm looking at it. It's only showing you, look, guys. Can I get out this sun a bit? So that's better. Uh, I don't know uh, what that one is. I can see the date. 1696, is that? Yeah, definitely. 1696. It's certainly an old one. It's not hammered. That's a milled coin, I think it, they call it. When I first started putting them like through a die. That size a lot better then. Beautiful. I mean, he's literally been sunbathing there since, um, well, last year. So it shows you, do not it? Beautiful coin. I don't know which one that is. I'll have to look that up. Not got a clue, but it's a really nice one. Probably my best condition silver coin yet. In fact, no. I've had a couple of... In fact, yeah, I'd say that one, definitely, because... The other ones are only um, like Victorian or Edwardian ones, so um, yeah, I'm happy with that. So I've just noticed something else here. I don't think it's anything. There. No, it's just a bit of glass. I thought it was a piece of flint then. I'm not going to pull it out because I've got it. Clear glass, so it's not old. But um, yeah, really happy with that. That's a lovely, lovely coin. Got something else here. I don't know that's another hammer or what. What is it with the hammers? Oh, it's not. I know what this is. I've always wanted to find one of these. That is a love token. So I'm just trying to steady my hand because my hand shakes all the time. I'm guessing it'll be completely smooth on the back too. Yeah. And I'm guessing that would have been a hammered coin and all. But these are, in fact, I'm going to tell you about these. Just make it around there out of the sun because I'm literally cooking myself alive here. I'm, nearly dropping it again. I'm cooking myself alive here, so be back in a second. Right, here we are. We're out of the sun now. Um, I'm guessing that's hammered coin. 
And what these were, as far as I know anyway, there was a love token. These were, it, it was a coin, it was deliberately sanded smooth like this, and then bent two ways like you can see on that one. Even though it looks like it's been bent a little bit by the plough the other way again. But it would have gone in like an S shape, as you can see there. And it was deliberately like destroying the coin so it couldn't be used again. And obviously silver coin back then was a lot of money. So it was a sign of affection and everything. And um, obviously this one um, didn't quite work because um, right there where I were, there's a hedge. And there's a road just behind there, so um, I'm guessing whoever had this one, possibly, <laughs> chucked it over the hedge. So the poor fella who um, tried giving this to a lovely lady, possibly didn't work. It's another one of those stories from probably 600, 700 years ago that we have no idea now. So it would have told a story, this little thing. That's a lovely one off my bucket list. I never thought I'd find a love token. Beautiful. I'm having a cracking day today. Yet again, a big strong 80 signal. And the usual thing is I can't find it now. There. I don't think it's anything. Uh, it's some sort of um, tag off something. A bit of a bone sticking through it and all. Yeah, I don't know on that one. It's not old anyway, so I'll stick it in the bag and go in the bin in a bit. Right, I've got another good signal here. Strong 70s. Um, I'm starting to learn now that anything from, I don't know, about mid-60s and downwards is usually not very good. I'm not saying that, I've had a Roman brooch that was coming out about that. Right, there he is. I think it's a buckle. No, it's not. I don't know what that is. Nice. I don't know on that one. It's really nice, I like that. I think it's like a stud. I think that bit there would have had like a spike or a nail or something. Sometimes they had like decorations like this on doors and things. It's quite a nice find that is, and I'm guessing that's quite old and all. They're just the decoration and everything on it, if you know what I mean. That's really nice. I'm having a cracking day today and um, as for the the crop markings and everything let um, me just hang on a minute I could I turn my camera around right as I was saying um, as for the crop markings not very good um, one of them turned out to be like pasture land now and to be honest I couldn't even find it because it was just in the middle of the fields with no markings or anything to try and locate it. Could not find it at all. I set my drone up and everything. And there's no sign of it. So, um, don't know about that one. But apart from entertaining the dogs, that was a complete flop, that one. And the second one, you can see where it is because of the hedges and everything. And again, not really anything there. But this is the same field where that marking was on. But I'm doing a lot better. But where the actual markings were... There's nothing, but I suppose if that was a building or something, most of finds are going to be around it and not in it, if you know what I mean. So, I really don't know, but like I say, but I'm no expert at all this, so um, that's just my opinion anyway, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So, um, yeah, we'll carry on a bit longer anyway. I won't be much longer because it's getting late now. I think we have another hammered. I think that looks like a thin little coin there. Definitely, yeah, that's a hammer coin. I 
God, that's tiny, absolutely tiny. Focus in here. Uh, it's the same one as my, that big one, actually. That's unusual. I'm guessing the date from about the same date. Oh, I'm trying to get out there. The sun, the sun's terrible. Can't see a damn thing. Here we go. That's definitely got the same shield and everything on as the bigger one. Not much on the back I'm afraid, not much you can see anyway. can't tell. I think it's another Elizabeth one. Fantastic. Definitely found the right field eventually anyway. Two hammered, yeah, come on. Another really, really nice coin. Again, unbelievably thin. So thin. Now I'm going to put that in the bag, wrap it all up, and keep it safe. I've got a really, really deep signal here. In fact, it's still not out of touch. Oh, I know it's interpolate. Have I got it? I think it's over there actually. I can't even really find it, one. No, it's still there. Oh no, that's a piece of iron. It wasn't picking up iron. Hang on a minute, we just check that. No, that's definitely an iron tone. No, we're still down there. Holy! I can't say it. I can't say it. Oh man, now that is what you call a hammered coin. Bloody hell! Bloody hell! I don't know which one that is, but that is bloody old, that one. Is it Lon London? Ah, I keep dropping it.
I have ever, ever found. That Roman one's nice. That dropping it it's on another level absolutely on another level oh I put it back so it's there right I'm gonna put this in my bag now before I drop it and lose it completely me done for today now I'm knackered and I've just realized I really really do need shaving all don't I but um, I'll let you on a little secret now anyway the main reason this video has taken so long to do is because I'm hanging about putting it off you know, field to come up over just over there and um, thanks to our chaotic weather system over here it's still not ready it should have been ready about six weeks ago now and I booked a week off work and everything for it but the farmer told me one day that the original old farm used to be over there, which is ancestor owned, which dated from about the 1700s, I think, or something like that. But they had a well on the garden, and after about two weeks solid of horrible rain, the well collapsed, and the hole kept getting bigger and bigger until it swallowed the old cottage and everything. It all ended up going down a great big crater in the ground. But they filled it up with rubbish. Nice Victorian rubbish, as far as I can see, anyway. And I've got permission to go on there, and I'm more than likely about to get a machine on there too. It won't be a big machine, it'll just be like a little JCB one on the back of like a farmer's tractor, but better than digging it by hand, isn't it? But as soon as that field's cut over there, we'll be on that, digging it anyway. So um, hopefully, in my next video, we'll be digging a nice farm too. So that's that. I'll see you on a cleaner video.